Hey there, let's make a Hylian mini shield. First, decide how big you want it. I know I'm going to be mounting this on a 5x7 inch canvas, so I'll make the shield a little smaller. Then create the outer frame. To increase the 3D look of the piece, I'm giving each part a different shade, like the sun is coming in from the right. Remember that, you want the angle of your light source to be consistent throughout the piece. Now make the center plate. You'll want this to be at least one row of beads bigger than the frame, so they can overlap. Next, we'll make that famous red loft wing. The beads that are diagonal from each other aren't quite close enough to fuse, so I drop in some inconspicuous blue beads to keep it all together. Here's a few odds and ends to adorn the shield with. The star-shaped pegboards are perfect for making a Triforce, small or large. Finally, we make the Master Sword. Yes, that's a bit stunted for the blade that can slice through time itself, but it'll work for us, you'll see. Heat up that iron and get to work fusing your pieces. Iron both sides for extra sturdiness and put some heavy books on top of them while they cool. Ready to assemble. First, attach the frame to the faceplate. Do all of your gluing on the underside of the piece where it can't be seen. Lie the other pieces on top so you know exactly where they're going before gluing them down. Now take that master sword and break it in half. I suggest using a ruler to line them up before gluing them to the back of the shield. Then add a piece of black foam core for some solid backing. Carefully place a dot of glue on these three beads and you'll have bolts for the front of the frame. Done! That's five layers overall. Canvas, sword, faceplate, frame slash designs, and bolts. A great gift for the hero of time in your life. So that's how you make this shield. But now I encourage you to design your own. Maybe make a family crest for your household or something. Whatever you do, send me a photo and I will feature it right here on the show. Until then, happy purling.